the U.S. women's national team in Brazil women's soccer winning their semifinals to set up this gold medal rematch. Um, let's go to it real quick. But yes, the U.S. women and national team is back on this sort of stage um, in the finals of the Olympic Games after a very, very, very disappointing World Cup in um, this past in 2023. And they've had very disappointing European, uh, not Olympic game campaigns since they won it all in 2012 where they beat Japan in the final. Um, they've been very disappointing in terms of their, um, their football uh, at the Olympic Games since then, in two thousand and uh, two thousand sixteen, getting eliminated to Sweden in the I believe in the semifinal they got eliminated in against Sweden. No, in the in the quarterfinals they got eliminated in Sweden in Rio twenty sixteen in penalty shootout. If you remember after it was the big sort of clamor at uh, Hope Solo who came out calling the Swedish players cowards for playing a more defensive style of play in which Hope Solo essentially talked her way out of the U.S. women's national team. She was suspended and term her contract was terminated with the organization post post that um, sort of Olympics. Um, and she never played a game for the U.S. women's national team again. And then in 2021, very disappointing Olympic Games and the fact that in the group stages, um, in the group stages, they were... Uh, they didn't win the group. They finished second. They only won one game in their group. They only got four points, one win, one draw, one loss. They were goal differential away from being a third place team. Um, they were really, really poor. They opened, started off their tournament with a 3-0 loss to Sweden. Um, uh, but uh, but they were able to get out of their... Um, they were able to still get out of the group. And they were able to get past Netherlands on penalties. But then against Canada, they were figured out. They got beat by Canada. And they reached the bronze medal game where they were able to win the bronze medal. But again, for the U.S. Women's National Team, that's not really much of an accomplishment. And at these Olympic Games, they had a good group stages. Dominated the likes of Germany, Australia, Zambia. Played good football. Got the goals in. Defended really, really well. And then they were tested in the knockout stages in terms of... Um, not playing their best, but being able to get the job done, being able to get it done, being scruffy in both extra times, reaching extra time in both games and getting that breakthrough and defending that lead. Um, they've had a good in terms of dominance, but they've also been tested, which makes them deadly because, you know, some things that make you like fragile in these sort of one-off games is when you've dominated teams and then you get punched in the mouth. Can you respond? They've been able to respond in terms of being able to get the breakthrough. Now, they haven't been down at all since... Um, they have not been down at all since uh, they... Um, since they, uh, they've they been at these uh, Olympic Games. Uh, they have not been down at all. And we'll see how they can respond if they do go down against Brazil. Um, but they've been very, very uh, impressive. And Emma Hayes, it just shows, you know, this is a message to the U.S. men's national team as well when they do this coaching search. This is what bringing a world-class coach can do. You can get the best out of the talent there or you can even elevate the team past their ability when you're able to get, uh, when you're able to get those sort of players. You know, when, you, when you're able to get that sort of manager that can get the best out of your players. The U.S. men's national team haven't had that manager this past campaign. And haven't had a manager that's like the ant for a real while now. So, you know, it's time for the U.S. MNT to step up their search. Now, obviously, they can't do what the U.S. women's national team do and get the best in class like Emma Hayes. Because the U.S. women's national team is a more, in terms of in women's football, is a more, it's a more desired job than the U.S. MNT is in men's football. But you can still get a manager, a brilliant manager, and, and the U.S. men's role. But yeah, Emma, uh, what Emma Hayes has been able to do is brilliant. And they got, they're got they able to get past to these finals. And I wow, the transition was really fast, which was amazing. Emma Hayes just came in a few months ago. That's the incredible thing, too. The Brazilian women's national team, they were able to get uh, into the finals as well after... Um, they defeated Spain 4-2 in the semifinals. And a game that 
they didn't have much possession at all, which was the brilliant, brilliant part of it. They didn't have much possession at all. They, um, number one, this was a massive, massive upset in that Spain, they just won the last World Cup and they were the heavy favorites to go back and win the Olympic Games. Now, it's difficult because there's, I don't think there's ever been a team that's won an Olympic Games right after winning that World Cup. Um, I think, that I don't think that's ever happened. Um, that hasn't actually ever happened. But, um, what, um, Brazil was able to do in this game was absolutely brilliant. Number one, they had seven. They had twenty three possess, possession of the ball, twenty three percent possession of the ball. But in terms of opportunities that they were able to create, they created so many. Up, they had seventeen shots despite only having twenty three percent possession. They were really outplayed in terms of you know getting ch creating chances in Spain. Now Spain, they were down like three four nil, so they had to you know. They really turned it up in terms of the pressure. They got 26 shots, but a lot of it came later on in the second half. But, you know, in terms of general play, Brazil were the more, created much more opportunities and they were absolutely deadly in transition. And Spain, they have not been able to defend all tournament long, especially in the knockout stages. And they just got exposed defensively in transition. You know, they control the ball so much, which, you know, makes them better defensively because they're not really, you know, they're not really tested defensively when you're able to have that much control of the ball. But man, whenever they lost the ball and Brazil was able to find space, there was so much space for Brazil to find. And it was one good ball away from a clear goal scoring opportunity. And that's what happened. Brazil absolutely pelted them. Brazil was up 3-0 in this game. Brazil was up 4-1. You know, 4-2 really flatters Spain, you know. Brazil were really dominant in this game. Spain, they started off very slow against Colombia. They went 2-0 down. They were able to come back in that. They won um, that game. You're not going to be able to do that two times. Or no, they were down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're not able to do that two times in a row. Going up against a little bit better opposition in Brazil. Uh, with real, real quality and transition, you get done. And it's different because this is not how Brazil normally plays they're not satisfied with 23 percent possession i'd like to see the reaction from brazilian media regarding reading the olympic games now i think they'll still be satisfied in the fact that brazilian football in general has not been successful over the past years or so so they'll be um they'll be happy with anything that they can get but uh but yeah i'm really uh i'm really uh fascinated really really fascinated in terms of how um Brazilian football is going to be looked at um, in terms of the Brazilian media. But yeah, they were absolutely brilliant. Spain, they were uh, really good as well. Uh, I mean, not Spain, uh, U.S. Women te women's national team, they were actually really good as well, getting to this journey, getting here where they are today. And this sets up a sort of classic, old-school sort of rivalry, uh, really a football heritage type of game in terms of women's football, Brazil, USA in the Olympic Games finals. You know, we've got this games in big, big World Cup ties. We've also got this games in big, big Olympic uh, uh, games. I believe the, I think it was 2008 gold medal women's football match was between was between yeah it was it was between the U.S. women's national team and Brazil they won two one, uh with Carly Lloyd scoring the winner, but also part of this that's gonna be part of this game this gold medal game Marta she's gonna make a return Brazil women's team was able to do their job to get Marta for that swan song she's gonna be able to play in the final after she got red carded in that final group stage game and she got suspended for two games, you know she's gonna be back so that's gonna be a great great. Uh, storyline as well so fascinating fascinating gold medal matchup coming up